Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Vintage Problem Guy. And today I'm going to be doing mini system tests number 17 with the Sublex 4001 fire alarm control panel. So, anyway, let's get started. So as you can see from the panel, um, nothing's really changed in here except there is a system trouble. Um, and that is because I have a, kind of like, it's gotta be something with the notification points. Um, I'll actually explain that here in just a second, so. I'll explain what the signal trouble actually really is, but, I mean, other than that, really nothing's really changed in the panels, so, yeah, pretty much the panel's pretty much all normal, so. But, yeah, so, I guess that's a, like a quick overview of the panels, so, now we'll go over the devices here. So, up at the pulse station spot, I have right here is my Faraday 101-23-1 local alarm arrow handle pulse station. Next to it, I got my Simplex... 2098-9806 uh, remote key switch, like usual. Right here, we obviously still have the same front wall uh, CBD-7021 uh, smoke detector from last time. And up here, it's actually an ultra super rare device that I actually have managed to get in my collection. This right here is a Faraday uh, 5501 light plate, or it's most enthusiasts, but some, or some enthusiasts would obviously call it like the Space Age A34 or like a Simplex 4050A mix or something or like a like a nurse call light mix. I don't know, it's kind of get the idea. And right up behind it, I obviously have my uh, Simplex 4051 horn mounted behind my 5501 light plate by Faraday. So yeah, I am probably haven't seen any other enthusiasts. Like I've only seen like a couple a couple enthusiasts on YouTube. I only have this basically. So. I'm pretty, it's pretty nice. I'm kind of doing a mini system test with it, so it's pretty cool. And I know as far as like the signal trouble, as I mentioned obviously in the beginning of this video, yes, the reason why there is a signal trouble is because obviously the light that's on this thing, there's apparently there's no polarization dial, so I mean, I mean, it still works. I did test it out, so it obviously works. It's just obviously it just doesn't have a dial on it, so even though there is an end of line resistor, there's just no polarization dial, so. That's why there's just like system trouble, so. But, I don't know, I mean, that's pretty much the overview of this device. Pretty cool. I'm really lucky to have one of these, so. Yeah, so. I don't think I've ever seen any, I've never seen these in buildings before, so. Yeah, so I'm really glad to actually own one of these, so. And I think I'm making a mini system test out of it, so. But, yeah, I guess that's pretty much the overview of all devices, so. I guess we'll go ahead and get started with the, uh, the testing part. This is AK, the most fun part of the video that you guys like all to see. So, anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start things off with the Faraday 10123 1. System will be on code 3. Epilepsy seizures, please do not watch. And please do not pull fire alarms in public buildings or tamper with fire alarm equipment. I'm not responsible for your actions if you choose to do so. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let's pull the fire alarm. Alright, so you see the system is pretty much silent, so now we can go ahead and reset our pulse station. Do it like that. And now we we'll go ahead and reset our panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the system on March time, so I'll be right back. Alright, the system is now on March time, so now we're going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector. So. Here we goes.
So as you can see, the LED light on the smoke detector is illuminated until so, so it's activated. So since it's not pulse stationary that stuff, we can just go ahead and just reset the panel. All right, so this is back to normal. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the system on continuous. Eric, AKA everyone's favorite coding, best part of video, continuous. So I'll be right back. All right, system is now continuous. So now we're gonna go ahead and activate the last device, the uh, simplex key switch. And probably while I'm at it, I'll probably go ahead and probably do a batteries test, which is just obviously flipping the switch off this uh, extension outlet. So that way you guys can hear this thing on filter DC. So anyway, here we go. I have to say that was a pretty loud device, especially with this 4051. This thing's insanely loud. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think at the same time, it's a very awesome device, so, yeah. Alright, so, now will pretty much wrap up for mini system test number 17. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.